Hi everyone, welcome to Mommy Mondays. In today's video, I'm going to do um, my baby's one month update. He is sound asleep. Hank is here with me right now. He's just right here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use this footage or if I'm gonna to have to uh, shoot it again. It might be a little bit distracting, but I'm going to start by talking about him a little bit. So Hank was born on the 26th of January. He was exactly eight pounds. And the only real like issues or concerns that I had with him was that he was jaundiced and he was pretty jaundiced, not enough to need treatment, but we had to go back to the hospital every day for like five days and have blood work done just to make sure that his Billy Rubin was coming down. He is starving. <laughs> when you guys see him in a minute, you're gonna see that his color is very good now. His eyes are still like a tiny, tiny bit yellow, but my doctor said that can take up to five weeks to go away, so not to worry about it. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but I can just notice a little tiny bit because I'm the mama. The first month home was tough but not as tough as the first time I did it. So this is my second baby, and I just think you're so much more relaxed, and you kind of know what you're doing already, so it, that makes it a lot easier. It's a little bit more challenging because I do have a three-year-old, and I do keep him home with us pretty much every day of the week. I send him to daycare like one or two days a week just so that I can get a few things done or shoot a video or something like I'm doing today but otherwise it's the three of us home. The sleeping situation has been so much better than with my first baby, and I think it's for a couple of reasons. Number one, Hank definitely is more awake and hungrier and just like a little fussier during the day. And then in the nighttime when it's dark out, he is much sleepier and calmer and just wakes a couple of times to eat. Now, uh, Wilson was the exact opposite. So my first son, he kind of had that problem where he thought that the day was night and the night was day. And I think that's kind of common with newborn babies. You have to wait for them to sort of get flipped around. But Wilson used to um, sleep all day, no matter what I tried. And then he would be fussy and hungrier um, and wake more during the night. So that was really hard. And then the other big difference, and I'm not going to get into this into great detail, but with Wilson, I was so like wanting to do everything by the book. And I just did not want him to get like too attached to me and not be able to sleep on his own and stuff like that. So even when he was an infant, I thought it was best to keep him you know, in the bassinet, kind of far away from my bed, and then in his own room as soon as possible. So I made things really hard on myself, I think. This time I am co-sleeping with Hank. I'm doing it very safely, and I definitely prefer it. I'm not going to lie, like the first month home with a newborn is really hard. It's a lot harder with your first, I think, because mentally you don't know you know, when things are going to change or get better. Like if your sleep is terrible, you can't really see the end. Like the end is nowhere in sight. Or if you're having a really hard time breastfeeding or if your baby's crying all the time, you always wonder if like it's something that you're doing wrong and you're just unsure of things and it's a lot more hard on the head. With a second baby, I just feel so much more relaxed and um, things are just a lot easier, even though like they're still hard. He is in size zero to three months now, and he does have a couple of things that just say three months on them. The newborn stuff fit him for probably a week, and then he outgrew it. I'm basically just wearing two layers on him. I always put on a little onesie, and then I put a zip-up sleeper over it. If I run out of sleepers with the zipper on them, I will put the button-up ones on him, but at night especially, the zippers are like amazing for quick diaper changes. He does not like to be undressed, so the longer that it takes me to button up his sleeper, uh, the more awake and the fussier he gets. So I really, really like the zippers. So diapers, I'm using Pampers Swaddlers right now. That's what I use with Wilson, and that is what I liked. They're very thin, but they're really absorbative, and I just find them comfortable. And the babies are so small, I just feel like they mold to their body a little bit better. They are more expensive, so when Wilson got a bit bigger, I switched to the Pampers Baby Dry, and I really like those. Now, I have tried Huggies a few times, um, once with Wilson and once with Hank, because 
you know, sometimes diapers go on sale, like just the Huggies will be on sale and it's a really good sale. So I bought a big box of like 200 Huggies. Um, he's in size one now. He's pretty much been in size one since he was born. I put newborn diapers on him for a couple of days and then I realized they were a little too small and I switched to size one. But anyway, I started using the Huggies diapers and for whatever reason, they just don't work for us. And I know some people who say the opposite. They say they loved Huggies and they hate Pampers. Um, but for my children, for whatever reason, the shape of them or the shape of their legs or something like that, they just don't keep the poop in. Um, and the other thing with the Huggies, and I have no idea how this is even possible, but every time one of my kids would have a big poop, it would go right up the front of them. Um, and with the Pampers, it kind of goes up the back. So I guess like, you know, to each his own, but I just find for my babies and their shape and the way those diapers fit them, I just do not like the Huggies and I will be sticking to the Pampers. I started out with water wipes and then I got through the couple of packs that I had. I was using face cloths with warm water on them and water wipes and now I'm just using the regular Kirkland brand wipes which come from Costco. And I really like those. They're affordable. Um, they don't like smell like any heavy perfumes. My son, Wilson, had like super sensitive skin and I found that they were fine to use on him. And all I do with Hank, I don't have a wipe warmer. I just kind of run them under warm water and I use that uh, to wash him off. And I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now and he has no diaper rash or anything like that. So that's what I'm using. As far as like a baby monitor, anything like that, I'm not really using anything like that. I'm not really using my nursery yet. The only thing I'm really using is my swing. Um, I baby wore a lot with Wilson because he was a lot harder to soothe. Um, but right now where I'm not really leaving my house and I find Hank is very comfortable to be like laying on a mat in the same room as me or in his swing, I haven't really even been using my baby carriers. As and far as a daytime routine goes, um, it is the winter here. I live in Cape Breton. Everything is freezing and snow covered and he's only a month old. So I don't really have a whole lot of things that I have to do with him. The day really consists right now of these two and a half, three hour intervals of when I have to feed him. And then me also trying to entertain my three year old, um, keep the baby fed and changed and safe and entertained and try to take care of myself a little bit and keep my house tidy and things like that. There's really not a whole lot going on. The most difficult part for me is my toddler does go to daycare two days a week. So on those two mornings, I have to get them both up and get them both fed, dress my toddler, put them both in their car seats um, and drive Wilson to daycare. And I find that is a little bit hectic, but I'm not on any type of like time constraints. Like he doesn't have to be there at any certain time or anything like that. Um, so I'm really not complaining because it's not that bad. As far as Hank's day goes, again, like I said, he eats every like two and a half to three hours. I do feed him on demand. So if in two hours time he's screaming and crying and I pick him up and I can tell that he's hungry, um, I just feed him. And that way we have a very nice, quiet, peaceful house. Um, when a baby's that little, I really don't believe that you can teach them any bad habits. So I feed him when he's hungry and sometimes I feed him to soothe him and I'm totally okay with that. I do do a little bit of tummy time with him and he's getting so strong. Oh, how strong. You're too strong. One thing that I didn't talk about was like Wilson and Hank and how they're getting along. So Wilson loves Hank. He loves him so much. Wilson is a very like sensitive kind of soft little boy when he wants to be and he loves petting him on the head. He loves kissing him on the head. He always tells me how cute he is. Oh, mommy Hank is so cute. He wants him to sleep in his bed. He wants him to get in the tub with him. He just wants to be with him all the time, which he can't be because a lot of situations, like Wilson wants Hank on the floor when he's like smashing his monster trucks around. So I have to explain to him, you know, that he's a brand new baby and, you know, some of those things aren't safe. But other than that, so far, Wilson just absolutely loves him. I don't feel like he feels jealous or anything like that. It's more so that he just wants to be with him and hold him and touch him a little bit too much. One thing that I do have to watch is that Wilson wants to like touch and pet him on the face and he wants to kiss him on the face. And 
you know, little toddlers, Wilson, when we brought Hank home, he had a runny nose like the whole time. Um, so I just felt like I was constantly being like, no, 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 like don't touch your brother, kiss him on the top of the head, don't kiss him on the face. That is Hank's one month update. I really don't have anything else to talk about unless you guys have any questions. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please feel free to give it a big thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.